going to share with you from my years of buying tweed jackets how to choose the perfect one. Starting with this one that I am wearing, which is technically not a tweed jacket because if you see closely, it's kind of a just textured fabric. But I feel like this definitely gives me that Chanel tweed jacket vibe and this is actually a vintage piece from Oscar de la Renta. I got it from Beacon's Closet in New York, one of my favorite secondhand shops. If you work in a business casual or business formal environment, I really would recommend looking into this kind of fitted but not super long type of blazer, especially if you're also petite. I am 5'3 for reference. I find that this length as well as the cinch thin waist is just really flattering. Again, if you also have similar body shape as I do. And I also love the slight shoulder pad detail. This is great to make you feel confident, to make you feel really just powerful. I don't know, something about a shoulder pad just instantly make me almost makes my posture better as well. The other thing I want to point out is, as you can see, this jacket doesn't have a collar. I find that if you have, well, for me, I have quite a bigger head in proportion to the rest of my body. So I always try to make my shoulder look a little bit wider so that my head, my face look a little smaller. And this is perfect because there's no additional collar to kind of clutter this area. And I love the little V shape down here to again, create almost like a V neck effect and will also make my face look a little bit slimmer. If you feel like a structured tweed jacket is not your thing then there are also tweed cardigans that I feel like instantly just makes this whole look feel a lot more casual and because it's cardigan material it is knitted it just is a lot more carefree and you almost feel just really cozy. I actually oftentimes wear this Zara tweed cardigan just at home as a lounge cardigan. Now the sleeves are super, super long. So when it comes to that, you can actually very easily just roll up the sleeves. And you might wonder, okay, this one has so many colors. How am I going to style it? When it comes to buying colored tweed jackets or cardigans, the base color in my opinion is a lot more important than the pops of color on the base. So if I stand further away, this pretty much just looks like a mainly black cardigan with, you know, pops of color throughout. So you can pretty much just treat this as a black cardigan. Obviously with all the neutral pieces I have, it will go very well. But if you want to kind of pick up the colors on the cardigan, like a neon yellow, a pink, a almost like a sky blue color, then it'll also create a very cohesive look. So don't be afraid to go for a tweed piece that might have many colors on the piece. Just look for that base color. And if that's a color that you can style very easily, in this case, it's the black, and more likely than not, you will be able to style that colorful tweed jacket or cardigan. The next tip is really around the silhouette and the length and the fit. So this is the perfect example. I would say out of all the tweed jackets, this is my current favorite. I also got this from a secondhand shop, Buffalo Exchange, and it is actually a vintage piece. I believe this is a 100% wool jacket made in Italy, and it just looks so beautiful. It gives me the Celine tweed jacket vibe because of the cropped design. So when it comes to finding the best silhouette, first of all, look at the shoulder. So you want to make sure that the shoulder doesn't look too tight, too snug, because that would just accentuate your arm area and make your arm look bigger than it actually is. So I actually look for the edge of the shoulder that kind of pops out, I would say one inch. I find that being a really great width. And again, this will also visually make my shoulder look broader and hence my face slimmer. When it comes to fit of the body of the tweed jacket, I like 
almost like a truly boxy fit. So if I just put my hands down, the body of the jacket basically looks like a square. And that is perfect for me because I have quite a narrow and slim body type. And I would say my torso is probably normal, maybe slightly shorter. So I really like the jacket to hit me basically right under my belly button. So that was a high-waisted bottom. You can still see my waistline, but also visually, it doesn't make me look like my torso is tiny. Also pay attention to the position of the pocket. So in this case, we have two pockets basically right in front of my chest. Imagine these pockets going way up or way down, it visually will give you very much different vibes. I have a very small chest and I feel like having pockets right in front of my chest actually really help to make my chest look you know, tiniest big, bigger than they actually are. But if you have a larger chest, then you might be careful because if your chest basically pops these two pockets kind of half open like that, then this might not be the most flattering look. I think of tweed more as a vibe of the texture versus a very specific material combination. So for example, this tweed jacket from Tory Burch has the traditional kind of woolen tweed fabric, but weaving through, you actually see this like satin velvet, almost ribbony texture all throughout the jacket. So to really elevate your tweed jacket and make it look more expensive than it is, or just wear it for more evening appropriate occasions, then look for the fabric detail. Maybe it is some really intricate metallic thread through, or maybe it's velvet that both give people a very um, formal or just fancier vibes. But because of the quite neutral colors of navy and black, it still doesn't look too over the top. And that's why I love this tweed jacket so much. The length of this is slightly longer than I would want, but I don't mind too much because if you are, you know, posing a for a photo or if you just want to, you know, look cute, then you can always pretty much Put your hands in your bottom pocket to almost raise the length of the jacket a little bit so now it looks a lot flattering. When it comes to collared tweed jackets, I also think the position and shape of the collar is very important. So in this case, because again this is a semi-cropped jacket length, I wouldn't want the collar to be too narrow or too long, just doesn't look super proportional to the rest of the jacket. I actually quite like it's a short and slightly wider collar. So it just looks really cute and you can actually take the collar off. So definitely looking to pieces that are a bit more versatile. And this is also from Tory Burch. They truly just give me Chanel jacket vibes without spending thousands of dollars on a jacket. The following few pieces are all gonna be from Zara. I do go to Zara a lot for their tweed pieces, especially during sale season. Sometimes you can just score some of the most amazing deals. I'm pretty sure all of my Zara pieces are under $40, including this tweed jacket. So if you want to really casualize a tweed piece, then looking to this jacket style. I know it was so popular a couple of years ago, but I really think if you just think of it as a thicker shirt, then it is such a classic silhouette that will not go out of style. You can easily wear this as outerwear or a layering piece. So I love how versatile it is. It's really great for traveling. I took this to quite a few trips already. It's just a little bit more unexpected than a denim jacket that you might take on all of your travels. Next time, maybe 
try a tweed jacket. You might be surprised how versatile something like this is. And I always pick just neutral colors that will go with everything. Another style that is quite trendy at the moment, but I also think very classic for the longer term is these quilted jackets. Now, these kind of tweed quilted jackets don't come around too often. This is one of the few that I found and I happened to find this on Zara sale last year. I absolutely love it so much. It basically is the Totem or Frankie Shop quilted jacket silhouette. A bit less dramatic but a lot more wearable and with the tweed fabric. It just makes the quilted extremely casual silhouette a bit more elegant. If I am still going to the office for work, I would 100% still wear something like this to work because it just looks so much more expensive than it actually is. And the bonus is because of the quilting, it also keeps you super warm and you can layer really thick knitwear underneath because it is quite boxy. I still have the tag on this one so I can tell you that I paid $39.99. I told you all of my Zara pieces are under 40. I got this at the end of last summer. So I haven't gotten a chance to wear it out yet but this is the perfect spring tweed jacket. I love a pop of color. Don't be afraid to go crazy with colors when it comes to tweed jacket. Because tweed is such a classic material, sometimes it almost gives off too formal of a vibe. If you really want to make tweed useful and modern, go for just a pop of, what is this, like neon yellow green type of color. And it's such a conversation piece and it just brightens up your skin, brightens up your mood. Actually, the silhouette of this one is interesting as well. It really pushes your waistline up a lot because of the button positioning. So this is definitely something to pay attention to. If the buttons are too low or if the pockets are too low, then it'll visually drag the torso so that your torso would look a lot longer than it is. So when I saw this piece, which is basically the perfect proportion. I love the pocket positioning basically right at my waistline. And I love that the buttons are actually above my waistline. I'm like, yep, this one will make my legs look miles long. Lastly, don't pay attention to the sizing or the size numbers of pretty much any clothing pieces. I think they are extremely misleading and gives off different, you know, psychological effects. Oh, I have to fit in a smaller size, that means I have a better figure, etc. This is actually a size large and especially when it comes to tweed jackets, I think they are so versatile that you can go bigger in size and just create a different vibe. So this is actually the really famous Kate Middleton jacket, I believe, because she wore, I think, this exact Zara jacket and then this jacket basically sold out everywhere and by some luck miracle I was able to score one from the store for I think I'm pretty sure under 40 or even under 30 dollars so I was over the moon when I saw this because I love this true red, almost like a slightly orangey red color. It is so vibrant, goes well with my skin tone. And because it is in size large, again, the shoulder pad detail is more pronounced and it just makes my face a lot slimmer. And I love the casual vibe that it gives off when you pair it with just simple t-shirt and jeans. I hope this video helps you find your perfect tweed jacket and I will see you in one of these ones. Bye!